So the question is, how much walking should we be doing every day? Now, um, the answer is as much as you fucking possibly can. <laughs> Uh, 10,000 steps a day is the recommendation, but quite honestly, it's pretty hard to get 10,000 steps in a day if you're an average person, of average American, because most of our jobs, most of our day, we're sitting on our butts, and we drive everywhere. We do not walk that much. Even, you know, when I was working in the hospital, I would have to go up and down three flights of stairs, up three floors, and I always um, took the stairs. I, I rarely took the elevator. And even on a good day from uh, running between my clinic, back to the hospital, up and down flights of stairs, to the OR, to the locker room, back to the cafeteria, all sorts of stuff, I'd be lucky to get in six or 7,000 steps a day. So the average American or person watching who has a desk job, who you know drives to work and all that sort of stuff, you guys are not getting very many steps in a day. You'd be surprised if you look at your pedometer, maybe 1,000, 2,000 steps a day. So it's pretty difficult to get 10,000 steps in a day. So my answer is still the same. You need to get in as many steps as you can a day. Now, I wanna make this point very clear because it really kind of irritates me a little bit. You have to remember, walking is not exercise. Exercise needs to be sweaty with a high intense heart rate. You're really pushing yourself to the limit. Now, some people, I get it. You're you're bad off, man. Like you've got bad knees, you're really overweight, you walk with a walker, you walk with a cane, you can barely make it two blocks, you're huffing and puffing. Good, keep walking. Then you really need to keep walking. You really need to push yourself. But don't fucking call it exercise. Don't call it exercise, right? Um, and it takes me back to another idea where I sit there and say, gosh darn it, man, like we are so privileged in the American world where we call, we think of walking as exercise. My grandparents didn't think of walking as exercise. My dad didn't think of walking as exercise, man. In one generation, somehow we've gotten so lazy that walking is now called exercise. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming patients. I'm not blaming the average person. I'm blaming the medical society, us. The medical profession makes it sound like walking is exercise. We should get back to basics. Walking is just a foundational, like basic point of just keeping your joints loose and your hips moving and your base, your minimal posture muscles, you know, keep you going. I mean, we've got things all turned backwards in society these days. Give me an amen if you hear what Thank I'm saying. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you have time, you know, check out Velocity2020.com. It's my mega conference in Vegas. I'd love to meet you. Love to see you there. Um, tickets are on sale right now. You should check them out. Uh, it's going to be the number one weight loss surgery conference for patients. We're going to deal with all sorts of stuff. You're going to get lots of lecturing from me. I'll have some amazing guest speakers come in too and talk to you about the physical gym side of it. They'll talk about the mental body image, binge eating side of things. We'll do all sorts of stuff like that. We're going to take your surgery, your results up to the next level. That's really what um, Velocity2020.com is all about. So check that out.